Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy and I'm here for you today with your month of May 2019 tarot scope. So we're going to take a look at the themes that you have going on for the month, the messages that your guides and angels would like you to know so that you can best navigate this energy through the month of May. So for you Libra, we're going to start with a card from a different deck. I'm pulling a card from a different deck for the theme for the month and the theme that you have overall for your month of May 2019 is the pioneer theme, okay? So if you've been thinking about creating something new um, or you've been like stirring around ideas, this is very much that energy of the creation of something new, of exploring new ideas, of um, starting something new that's never been done before. And so if you've been kind of feeling inventive or you've been having thoughts about the creation of something, this is really encouraging you to go forward with this, to let your mind sort of play around with these ideas because this feels really important as a foundation for you moving forward. So let's take a look at the angel cards and what the angel cards have to say. We're going to take a look first at work or life's work in your life. So this can be what you get paid for for your job. This can be your life's work, you know, just kind of what you like to put your time and your energy into. And this can also be connected with life purpose and what you need to know in relation with that. So let's see what card pops up for that. Okay, so here we have the Nine of Air Reverse, and the Nine of Air Reverse says, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling self prophecies, sleepless nights. Okay, so this is a bit of around work, maybe um, some worrying, some negative energy that you're putting out there. Um, it, this feels to me almost like a fear of failure, a fear of you know, um, moving forward with some things. Maybe you're not having the confidence that you need in yourself to be able to move forward with things. And this is very much encouragement to move forward, to let yourself move forward, to let yourself take those leaps, push yourself, um, let yourself grow in some ways in regard to your work and your life's work because you have important stuff to do here, okay? So whatever it is that your soul is encouraging you to do, make sure that you're doing that and that you're not letting these negative thoughts and these fears hold you back from moving forward with that. Now we're going to take a look at relationships in regard to our close inner circle, our close friends, our family, not necessarily romantic relationships because we'll take a look at that in a separate category. But let's take a look at just relationships overall and what you can expect Libra for the month of May. Okay, so this feels like a really good energy. This is the king of earth, okay? So you may find yourself, um, this almost feels like you here in this situation, that you are just feeling very grounded, um, that you're feeling very loving, that you're feeling very open to receiving the people in your life. I think that you're going to be a really beautiful source of inspiration, information, help, assistance, uh, even just being a solid, grounded force in people's life. Um, I think that you are going to be offering people uh, reasonable ideas, practical ideas, and um, just bringing this beautiful, earthy, grounded energy into things. And this card itself also says, a successful time. Confidently accept opportunities that you're offered. The Midas touch. And so I also feel like it's kind of like the energy that you're putting out there is the energy that you're going to be receiving. And I feel like there are going to be, you're doing good, you're putting good things out there, and you're also going to be receiving that back. So it does feel as though there's positive and powerful opportunities that are coming your way through that. And this is through those close relationships that you have um, and through you honoring that, whether it's through an extension of those people or it's actually opportunities that are being offered or shared from those people. But this is a beautiful, abundant energy and it's really exciting for you guys in that area of those relationships with your inner circle. Let's take a peek, speaking of relationships, at your romantic relationships, whether you're in a relationship, whether you are single, let's take a peek at the energy around that. Okay, so here we have the Emperor card, okay? Um, so, you know, this isn't like the most romantic or spontaneous energy that we have, you know? It feels a little like 
um, maybe things will feel like you find a groove. If you're in a relationship, maybe, you know, you've just found your groove. I, I feel like Libras kind of enjoy some of that structure and, and, and things like being the same, having a routine. Um, you just want to make sure that you're not falling into a rut within relationships and you are inviting in some spontaneity, some fun, some romance, um, things like that. So if you're feeling called to do that, you want to make sure that you do that because this is, um, the emperor is all about just like structure and routine and, and things like that. And so you might actually find it, this doesn't feel necessarily bad, although sometimes that can feel a little bit boring for some people. Um, but you may just kind of find that you found your groove and you're in a flow and that feels really good and, and you've got your structure. So just making sure that you're finding balance with that so that you can also, um, you guys are all about balance, right? So that you can also um, allow yourself to have um, some fun and um, some unexpected things to occur within the relationship this month. And, you know, for those of you that are single, this energy feels a little bit like you've got your routine and maybe you're going to stay home a little bit more. Maybe you're, um, you know, just sort of in that routine and it feels good. Maybe you found a really nice self-care routine and you're getting settled into that and that's been helpful for you and it's helping you to feel good and positive. So this might not be the month that you go out and you are connecting with anything in any really serious way. Um, it feels like actually more importantly, you are honoring this beautiful structure that you have created for yourself or if you haven't found that yet, working on that over the course of this month so that you can get yourself in balance, so that you can get yourself to a place of a higher vibration so that you are calling in even better relationships when you can connect with that energy. Oh, we got a couple of cards popping out here. So let's take a look at these cards. Um, so we're going to take a look. The next category is health. And this is overall health, well-being, um, spiritual health, physical health, mental health, emotional health, these kinds of things. So the very first card that we have here is the four of water reverse. Okay, so this card says missing an opportunity, discontentment or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. And so there is a little bit of the energy of like, I'm feeling bored. I'm feeling kind of stuck in a rut. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just not feeling a whole lot of movement here. And with this pioneering energy, we want to make sure that we're focusing on those ideas and um, those things that are coming in that do bring us excitement, that do bring us the possibility of new opportunities. That's going to help to get you through this feeling of boredom and this feeling of um, maybe being a little too focused on the past. And a lot of times for water cards are their cups and cup cards are connected with relationships. So this is also a little bit of like, maybe I'm too focused on relationships in the past, whether those are romantic, whether those are just people who have significantly impacted your life. Open your eyes to the possibilities. Be open to the beautiful things that are coming your way because they think that you can miss them if you're not paying attention. The other card that jumped right out of the deck is the Three of Fire. Um, and this card says abundant. Ooh, jeez. Okay, I'm dropping things all over. Abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. Okay, so this is a beautiful energy. Um, I feel like maybe you're starting to, with this balance, with this structure that we're creating, with this pioneering energy, find your really nice energy and... Um, I feel like overall, you're going to feel pretty good this month, physically, mentally, emotionally. So that's really exciting. And um, we're going to take a look at finances for you. But I do feel like that's a message of like finances will look relatively good. Your energy, you are open to abundance this month. Um, maybe not any big windfalls or anything like that, but it feels steady. It feels like um, we're moving in the right direction in regard to finances overall for you, Libra. And the last card is connected with finances, okay? So the page of earth. So um, this is kind of a message about new 
um, new financial situations coming in and to not get anything started in regard to that. So for example, a bank loan, um, a contract that would be connected with money, you're going to want to wait until the end of this month because that feels really important before you allow new money to come into your circumstances. There's some loose ends that need to be tied up. There's some things that need to be taken care of before you get to that that will allow for situations to be more abundant as you are moving forward. And then last but certainly not least, we're going to take a look at just overall, what is it that you need to know to best navigate your month for the month of May, Libra? What other messages does Spirit have for you? And here we have unity, okay? So this is you feeling a little disconnected maybe from your spirituality. Um, this is all about making sure that you are finding those people who support you on your spiritual path, finding those people that are like-minded and you can have spiritual discussions with. Even whether this is going to church, whether this is going to take a crystal class with other people who love to learn about crystals and love crystals, whatever that is for you that just helps you to feel good and connected, you want to make sure that you are allowing that into your life because I think you need a little bit of a bump up with this connection with your spirituality. So whatever Whatever it is that works for you, making sure that you are participating in that and that you are bringing along or inviting those people that share those interests and help to raise you up. So those are your messages, Libra, for the month of May 2019. Thank you so much for watching. If you would love to support my channel, it would be so helpful if you would subscribe and like this video, and that way you get any and all alerts to any new videos that I share. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care.